these are words, they need to be defined, okay? Mm -hmm. And so what we did was said, there's this sort of uh, combination of some new uh, information in the cognitive science world, right? So you have a lot of research on critical thinking, mm -hmm. and you have this new, not, it's not brand new, but new compared to other lines of cognitive, and it's called decision theory, right? Mm -hmm. And so we said, let's take a look at the combination of critical thinking and decision theory. And it is out of that that comes this thing called clinical judgment. I would argue that it's probably just a name that it's clinical reasoning. If someone is saying clinical reasoning, I tend to stop and say, what do you mean by that? So I'm sure that we're all talking about the same thing, right? Or somebody says clinical or critical thinking. What do you mean by that? Because I need to know that, that we're talking about the same thing. But generally in my world, I would say, and I know that some others won't, but that we're talking about clinical judgment, it may be an umbrella of clinical reasoning, I suggest that they're probably the same because reasoning requires you to go through the same steps as judgment. Uh -huh. Judgment suggests that that's the final decision, reasoning is the process, and maybe at the end of this we call it clinical reasoning. I don't know. We have chosen clinical judgment and have established an operational definition for it so we all know that's what we're talking about.